Hey, what's up, YouTube? Fe Whoa, that's weird. Fear Blaze here, bringing you guys another episode of the Survival Games. Today we're <laughs> FedEx here. Yep, that's me. And today we're playing solo on the map. I have Horus, but Skips is in our game joining us. But this will be a solo commentary. I don't know. Just hopped in. He's a stalker, fanboy. But anyway, we. All right, wait. Let's go to spawn first. Get this over with. Eh. All right, the golden apple. We got nothing. Oh, we got a lot. Let's go. All right, so sweet. I do have a topic today, and I just want to talk about game modes in general, and I guess competitiveness within the community and me myself. So this is, it's a fairly important topic and just something I want to talk about that I feel like would be entertaining for you guys and something that I just want to talk about in general. So wow, nobody's going this way, and I know why now, because these are all garbage tier ones. Anyway, but everybody has their game mode on YouTube, not even on YouTube, just on Minecraft that they enjoy playing. True or false? True. Okay, glad we could agree. But, um, no, I'm kidding. But, um, it is true. Everybody has that one game that they enjoy, and they play it more than other games because they like it. It may be survival games, it may be UHC, it may be, like, Block Party, or just... <gasps> okay, we're good, okay, we're good. Okay, okay, sweet. But it may be Block Party, SG, um, UHC, it could be anything. But everybody has their own... She exploded. But everybody has their own mini games or games in general that they enjoy playing. And that's fair. And I feel like people really shouldn't be judged for what they play because it is their free time. For example, if I'm uploading a video and I'm done uploading the video, I'm going to play something that I enjoy. Most of the time, it's while I'm rendering or if I'm just bored out of my mind or, you know, just something in general, just like that, or like late night where there's really not much to do and I just got my recording and I'm like, all right, I'm pooped. I want to play something that I enjoy. I usually play something that I like, which is seems okay to me. But I just want your guys' opinions on this. Again, leave if you guys agree with this or disagree with this down below. But I don't really see why this would be a thing that you disagree against. Unless you are really against Minecraft. But I don't know why you'd be against Minecraft watching this vid. But anyway, so for example, like me in my free time, I enjoy SG and UHC. As of recent, UHC has been really fun to play, and I've been enjoying it a lot. And that's the mini game that I enjoy playing in my free time. So, like I said, I'm rendering a video, and for example, Guitar is hosting a UHC. I'm gonna be like, "Yo, can I hop in and play?" And he's not gonna say no. Like, you can just join regardless. So, I hop in and play UHC, which is all fun. And it's not like it's a four-hour UHC or anything. He has it timed to only an hour until meetup, and you know, usually. I try to go hunting early, so I'm not just sitting there for like 10 hours playing UHC. I make it kind of entertaining and last long. And plus, I save those clips and upload it to YouTube and make UHC highlights out of the practice games. Plus, it's making me better for the actual Spoon event. If you guys don't know the Spoon's a UHC event that slaps and crats your purple dino host every month, month and a half-ish. Or I think that's what they've been as of late. I don't know. But that's what it is. And these practice UHCs are fun to play, B, it's a series on my channel now, and C, it's practice for the big event, so why not? And a lot of people in the community have been playing these practice UHCs before I have, especially people in the Spoon UHC, and I don't want to get, like, I don't want to say worse than them, I just don't want to be a noob during the UHC event and be kind of penalized and have struggles because people have been practicing a lot and they've gotten better and that's just how it is in life just like with sports too if you don't practice a sport you're not going to be good at it don't expect to just go there like um do absolutely nothing just like go home do your homework shower and then expect to be like god at a sport and do good in class same thing with a test don't expect to go home not study for it uh go play like baseball or football all day or play minecraft and then expect to pass your test it's not going to happen so in order to get something that you want aka in this case, a good UHC event recording, you gotta practice for it. Oh my god, this guy's in full iron. All right, well, let's... Okay, hold on. Try hard time. Try hard time. Try hard time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He getting reeked! He getting reeked! So, I guess my point is, you gotta kind of try for what... Oh my god, he's around the corner! Eh, eh, eh. Get wrecked. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, Skip's still alive too. Sweet. But, yeah, you kind of need to try for what you want. And it does make sense, and it is true, because I, I know for a fact that not studying for a test has, it can turn out bad, because I've been on both sides of that, studying for it and not studying for it, but 
I usually don't have to go super study try hard mode to get a good grade on test, but that's not the topic, so I'm gonna get off of that. And anyway, back on the UHC topic. So that is why I have personally been playing a lot of UHCs, because it's serious on my channel, I enjoy it, and to keep up with the success and the growth and the skill as all the other players. And regardless, you guys seem to really be is that skips? Oh yeah, that is. Okay. You guys seem to really be enjoying UHC highlights, like a lot. And I'm enjoying playing the UHCs and recording them, so I'm not going to stop the series. If you guys are liking them and I'm liking them, that's something that we come in the middle of. Just like with SGs. You guys like them, I like them. What's the point of stopping them? There is none. Let's just keep it going and it'll be a jolly old time for everybody. And the difference between the Spoon event and these practice UHC highlights I upload, during the highlights, it's only me running around and I only show the intense part, like the kills and stuff. And some may argue that that ruins the point of the Spoon UHC because you're already showing everything, what's the point of that? Wrong. The Spoon UHC is just the hype of it, like the event. Seeing all of your favorite YouTube skips lagged out. Seeing all of your favorite YouTubers getting together, even if they're not your favorite, you've at least heard of them. But seeing a I bunch of- I got for spam. Oh. Well. But, oh, oh, hey, skips! But anyway, so it's the thought of seeing all of your favorite YouTubers coming together to play the event. It's not just like a normal UHC. Even if it is solo, you're gonna be like, uh-oh, look, it's, uh-oh, Fear and Slops are meeting, they're about to fight, uh-oh. And if you guys are sub to me and Slops, it'll be really intense, and you'll be like, uh-oh, time to, like, watch both perspectives at once, or something like that. Or, I don't know, I used to sometimes do that. But, it's just that type of thing. So, it's kind of different from the practice ones, even though the people are in the game, you can't watch their perspectives, and it kind of, like, dulls down, it's not the same. Plus, just the hype in, like, my mind when I play Spoon UHCs, it's just way up there. The hype for, like, the practice ones is maybe at, like, a 1 or a 2, but the Spoon UHC is 10, if not off the chart. Just, like, the glory you feel when you win a Spoon UHC or just do well is amazing. And, team of two, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, 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 I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running. Right, bang. Okay, bow spam. Bow spam time. You want a bow spam, big boy? You want a bow spam? You want a bow spam? Oh, God. All right. Try your time, guys. Got one. Got two. Woohoo! Sweet. Wow. Not ruining my recording, bud. So, um... That's how I see that, and it's basically the hype for the event that really differentiates it from normal practice UHCs, plus just seeing, just having the hype to wait every other day to see how it's going to continue is so much different from just seeing a highlights like once a not dying to you, no, not dying to a full leather guy, bye bye, okay, he's dead, um, but just the hype of having to wait every other day to see like what's going to happen in the next episode, and Watching everybody's perspective, like if you watch mine and then watch Slaps and we're like, uh-oh, they're like 10 blocks apart from each other. I guess that kind of builds it up too. Because then you're like, are they going to run into each other next episode? Or are they going to run apart from each other? And it's it really just builds it up in comparison to just normal, regular UHCs that I just play for fun. So, is it D-Match? Oh, it is D-Match time. Sweet. And what else is there? The big events are still big. And our community is so competitive that if you do bad... No matter who you are, if you die in a stupid way, you'll be having that held against you for the longest time. If you die to somebody, that will be held against you for the longest time. And I think that's how it is everywhere. And everybody will know that too. All your viewers will be like, boom, in the big Spoon UHC event, you died to like Skips. And they'll be like, ha, Skips killed you, Skips killed you. And Skips going to hold that over my head forever. When Fashion fell in lava in season two, ask him, comment on his video right now. Fashion still faces the trouble whenever he sees lava like, uh oh, Fashion, don't fall in the lava. Fasha hasn't fallen in lava in like three months, and he still gets it held against him. But this is just my opinions on UHC. Are you hitting me with a pork chop? Mate. This is just my opinions on UHC and game modes in general. Play what you enjoy, and you shouldn't really be judged for it. In your free time, everybody does what they can, because instead of me playing UHC, what I would normally play is SG. Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually, don't. Ah, please. Yes, get wrecked. GG. But normally in my free time, I'd usually just play SG and stuff and just like build it up or just talk to my friends and like study for tests or whatever. But now that UHC is here, instead of playing SG, I choose SG UHC over SG, which that's just my opinion. So let me know your guys' opinions. What's, what do you guys play in Minecraft in your free time? Is it UHC? Is it SG? 
Is it just relaxing in a survival world talking to your friends? Let me know, but hopefully you guys understand the topic of this video and fully understand how it is more like a um, explaining how it's, how me personally, I'm play to win, not in a bad way, in a good way, and I'm competitive. Are you guys competitive? Let me know. I'm curious. And everybody has their games that they love playing, and I just wanted to compare Spoon to a practice UHDs. Get that out of the way. So hopefully this cleared up some things to you guys, and if you guys have any comments and thoughts down below, please let me know. And if I have to make a second vid kind of clarifying some things, I'll do that maybe two, three days from now just so it's not back to back. But yeah, any questions, leave them down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys next time.